Hi, I'm Magnus Fischiano, my name is Magnus, and this will be the TCSA R81.10 lab setup. So this will be the base of it. We will have one management server. We will have one Windows client where we can install the GUI client. Then we will have our cluster and we will have an internet access. Compared to the official CCSA lab guide or whatever, we're going to build with the cluster from start. After this, we will add additional interfaces. In this case, we will add a DM set. So we will show you how to add one more interface, how to do nothing so we can expose or publish specific sites on internet. Then we will add one additional log server so we can show the scale of the management stations. So we can offload specific tasks to specific boxes while this environment grow. And after this, we're going to introduce one router with additional internal networks. This is to check both the routing capabilities with static routes. Maybe we can do OSPF or something like that. We will see. I'm not sure if that is within the CCSA course, but maybe this is a CCSA plus. <laughs> um, so we will add one additional internal interface so we can check routing and anti-spoofing and how we get this up and running. So the next step will be to add more gateways. So we will connect one additional gateway to represent a different site over the internet. So yes, we're going to build an IPsec VPN tunnel within the same gate, within the same management station. So it's not really complicated, but this is something that has been requested a lot in the last, I don't know, two years while I have been making uh, this checkpoint videos. So when we have this setup, then we have like our management stations, we have our DMZ servers, we have our internal networks, we have multiple gateways, but we're not done then. We're going to add one server as well. So we can do LDAP integrations, meaning we can do identity based firewall rules. And this is something that is really cool. And this is something that I think should be standard in all checkpoint deployments. But we will talk more about that later because we will have identity collectors, etc., etc. So I think you will like this setup. We should be able to cover everything within the CCSA. Maybe we actually cover a bunch of topics within the CCSE as well. So let's call this CCSA Plus. Um, how does this compare to like Checkpoint's official courseware or reference guide that you can actually when you do the CCSA or 81.10 official training, it actually compared quite well. So I have a copy. Don't ask me for this one because this is nothing I can share. It's possible to buy it from Checkpoint training partners or Checkpoint themselves. Uh, no idea about cost, so you need to check yourself. But more or less, if we check page 16, we have Checkpoint's official lab here. So as you see here, we have uh, an LDAP server, or actually here we have the LDAP server, we have a DMZ host, we have a second site, we have two gateways. I don't believe these are clusters, but I don't believe in building Checkpoint environments without clusters. So we're gonna change that anyway. And I also believe that you should have dedicated log servers. So we're going to change that as well. I haven't set up this lab yet. so I'm not sure how much CPU, memory, etc. this will take. But hopefully we can run it within like 32 gigs of RAM and um, I don't know, 12 core CPU or something like that. And a thousand gigs of uh, SSD disk. Um, yes. You need a quite powerful machine to be able to run large virtual environments. But this is something that you should invest in yourself or, or use from your company. It's important to be able to lab. It's important to be able to try things out. One of the best way to learn is to try it yourself and fail. Yeah, you heard me right. Fail. 
you should fail and you should have problems within the labs so you learn how to troubleshoot so you learn how to do things it's a lot easier when you try it yourself and you fail and then you go back in the video go back in the documentation and try to resolve the issue you learn much much more if you do it that way than only watching a video from me like doing the lab and hopefully i succeed <laughs> or or like only reading documentation the more real life scenario it is the better so try to lad this up yourself and um Hopefully we will succeed. So I think that's it for this video. And in the next one, we will actually try to build this stuff up and uh, see how it goes. So <laughs> um, yeah, see you in the next one. Take care.